All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and welcome back to the Fall Fantasy Tale Let's Play. And if you did miss out during the last one, well, we now have Orin finally added on into the team, and also, too, uh, we went and I want to say we completed off with the main story of what was going on with the Blitzball situation with the with the Luka Goers. Now, if you guys do see, uh, we're gonna have to go back and doing some more of the Blitzball stuff once more, and uh, this is gonna be something where I kind of want to just make sure that we unlock with the tournaments. Now, how to go Go and actually unlock these uh, tournament uh, type of mode that's going to happen here within the uh, well within the save area uh, in most occasions now since we do have the special upgrade for the save points which we can go and play blitzball within our time anyways as well too um, that is uh, here when you go into the exhibition mode uh, there is a thing known as the forfeit uh, type of option that you will be able to go and use but you want to make sure that you actually at least uh, pick up the ball while it's in your hand and then you can actually go and then forfeit throughout the exhibition because if you do it like quite a few times um the uh, little unlockable for the tournament mode should at least be opening up to us now there is a certain ability or i should say certain overdrive that i would like to go and pick up for somebody and that is going to be for waka now that is actually be known as the attack reel overdrive and uh, that is going to be our second overdrive type of move that we're going to be able to go and add over there to waka which uh can't wait till we go and use that because from what i have been hearing even though that i never actually seen this move in action yet uh from what i have been told is is that uh this move is something actually pretty uh well nicely uh set for waka so hopefully we'll be able to go and use that through majority of the other different other uh boss battles that we go and see through here now after a little bit of some extra time here uh we'll just have to go and do this once more and uh i think by this time now we should at least be able to get the option for the tournament mode finally activated now we're gonna go and start off with my first attempt within the tournament and uh there is some specialized characters that we do need to go and actually add on into our team beforehand so there we go so now we got the tournament mode option and uh, there it is there's the first prize that we do want to go and make sure to go and do and that is gonna be the attack reel now i'm not too entirely certain if the first prize uh changes randomly at times um so you may probably want to make sure to at least go and save uh just so that if you ever do decide to reset your game or something uh you don't want to have to lose out on that first prize option there now, we are going to be picking up with somebody, and I want to say that this guy's name is going to be known as Jumal, I want to say. Uh, this guy is actually one of the best goalies uh, for you to actually go and have within the Blitzball tournament. So, make sure to go and add him, and actually add him for the three different turns that are going to happen. Because the uh, majority of our time is that we are going to have to go through three different phases that's going to happen here. And once those three, uh, three different phases happen, uh, his contract will expire, and you will have to go and uh, pay out for another type of contract as well. Uh, for him later on uh, which I believe it all does cost money so make sure that you do have a lot of money with you there is an actual chest that is uh, around within that little segment at the very beginning of our time there uh, when we first start off with the episode is that there is a, a thousand guild chest that you can go and pick up so if you do want to add some more extra money to it you can go and do that now this is I want to say who's this guy uh, Zazlitz yeah we're going to make sure to go and pick up with Zazlitz here. He is actually a nice, good uh, type of player as well, too. So make sure to go and add him as well to our team. And then we do have one more other guy that we do want to go and add on into our uh, to our team for what's going to happen. And that is going to be with a person by the name of Wedge. Because he's also another good player to go and shoot some goals uh, within our time as well, too. And uh, let's go ahead and do so. Now, our first uh, actual uh, competition that we're going to have to battle out here within the actual first attempt uh, for what's going to happen is that we are going to be battling out with somebody, uh, or as I say, the team, actually known as the Albed, and uh, we're going to have to go and fight with those guys. Yeah, if you remember back, uh, I want to say, within the first time that we actually show up here at DeLuca and with Waka actually going and battling out through the Albed Sykes, um... Like, that was a difficult battle just for Waka alone, and he actually at least got the win for that, right? During the time for what was going on. Now, we are going to see how well these Albed Psych players are actually going to be. And uh, surprisingly enough, um, within my second attempt, uh, even though that the Albed Psychs are, like, absolutely difficult to even go and do a challenge with them, uh, I didn't even have to go and even really worry about them at all whatsoever. And I had to go and challenge out with the Luka Goers out of all things, which, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, we'll see what happens when I get the uh, final score back from those guys. 
Now, this is something after once the game is done with that Blitz Ball type of stuff. There is a thing known as a Jupiter Crest. You may probably want to go and pick that up if you ever do want to go and add that to your inventory of stuff. So, we're going to make sure to go ahead and do so. We got all of our guys that we do need. And I'm pretty certain I think it's going to be that time to go and do some Blitz Ball time. So, let's go and do it here. Now, this episode in its entirety was almost about to be like 50 minutes and uh that was just because of just how annoying the alabed sykes were and uh you guys will be seeing a little bit about with some of the different battles that are going to happen i'm not going to show you guys like every single type of thing that's going on within the blitzball game alone um but you guys will be able to go and see the uh the first period that we go and do and then also with the overtime battle um now there is some other things uh that you may possibly want to go and learn a little bit about within the blitz balls type of stuff if you are more invested into playing blitz ball because i'm not going to even worry about this after once i get the uh once i get the overdrive for waka um but there is these things uh known as marks uh which if you actually do go and uh i want to say add on to uh where one of the opposing teams actually has uh for one of their special moves uh you can actually go and trigger uh titus which if you want to go and use uh titus to go and mark that one uh i think by pressing the x button right at the time that the uh that the that the opposing player uses its special attack you will actually be able to gain yourself a tech copy and you'll be able to go and use that move as something later on within the next uh type of part that happens within blitzball so it's pretty interesting from there Okay, so there we go. So let's go and finally proceed into what we do need to go and do now. And uh, let's jump right into the Bliss Ball game. Now, uh, with these two videos for today, uh, not only are we going to be doing our time with just only Final Fantasy X, but we are also going to be, of course, just doing some more of what Nino Kuni is going to be all about. We are going to be heading off into the first of many different locations where this supposed uh specialized stone that we have to go after with uh and uh, hopefully try to figure out where that's going to be uh it's actually going to be in a location known as the glaring grotto uh we'll have to worry about that a little bit later on uh throughout the uh, next other different episodes but we will be uh meeting up with some of the different familiars that are going to be the enemies of that place while we uh, go and do some ex exploration around within our time for what that place is going to happen now looks like we are all cornered up here at this point in time and i have no idea what we're going to have to do probably just go and shoot but i guess not now you guys are going to see how difficult these guys are going to be all about so uh yeah i don't know exactly what type of formation i'm going to have to go and do with these guys but just kind of just hope and pray that you can at least get a shot within these guys now the goalie for what the elvis sykes is going to be happening within here is that he is relatively strong and uh now we do have a pretty strong goalie too which that is has jamal on our team um but this guy is a lot more annoying than what it actually has to happen like even if you go and even decide to even use the jack shot that you actually have with titus this guy could still go out your way and still go and block for what's happening and um now surprisingly enough uh when i went into my second attempt uh for the blitz ball tournament here um the other three different other players that i went and or i should say the other three different teams that i had um i actually battled out with the uh with the ronzo tribe i want to say uh, with those guys and they are like super slow they are like the most like slowest type of team that you could go and uh, battle out with and uh, they are super easy to get like a lot of goals off because uh, with just those guys alone just swimming around, you know, um, you can just go and just use Titus or literally anybody else on your team and they can literally just kick the ball in and literally get yourself a point. Like, I think uh, if I went and actually showed you guys the whole second attempt, I believe my finishing score, I think, was like 7-0. and oh. So I literally like destroyed the Ronzo Tribe team that was going on there. Um, now there was also another team as well too, which I believe they are like the second like type of like weakest team as well too, which surprisingly enough, I actually did go and beat them too, which I thought for sure I was going to probably at least like lose there about around within our time. But there goes Wedge. Hopefully he can at least go and do a shot out here. It seems like unfortunately uh, with these guys blocking our way, it's kind of hard that we kind of have to like try to break through that or do at least something around here. Now, if you ever do go and check out your energy level, um, just make sure that when you go and check around there is to make sure that you're a little bit higher than the opposing side, because if you can't do it, um, you may possibly have to go and just literally just say no break and just try to hope and pray that you can at least just go and throw the ball. 
right to your other guy and hopefully he at least go and do something around within that type of time now uh with it here we can go and see that i don't know am i going to be able to get a shot with it this way because i know that i think i did show out there was a segment of of this episode where i did go for a shot and i almost thought that i was going to be able to like knock it through the park here so we got titus so we're going to say probably no break and we're going to go and shoot our shot here now we do have the jack shot and uh this is uh from the uh later game that we had so what that is going to happen here is that hopefully we can go and land up the kick land on into there and ah uh, like just look at that guy he even like knew about what i was going to do and he even went and grabbed it right away that man has some Mario Striker goalie skills out here. Alright, so I believe, what is this? Is this overtime now? Because I'm pretty sure I think we were in the other previous game from before, right? So, here we go. So, this is, I want to say, the overtime game. We're going to see how well that everything's going to happen with it here. Now, um, I don't know if I ever want to speak to you guys about how the overtime works. But, basically, the overtime works kind of like happens like in the original NFL type of rulings where like uh if i'm not mistaken if there is an overtime game that does happen with the dfl like as, as their original rulings i believe uh whoever scores the the point actually gets the win right away because i think before i i think now in newer times i think i'm pretty certain that both teams actually get to have their own type of play style within the overtime so even if like somebody actually did get a point i'm pretty sure that the other team can also go and try to see if they can try to grab another type of win afterwards yeah but this one here is all different like whoever wins the point that's like literally the last type of uh win that's gonna happen and then it's basically game over at this point point. and look at this like the elevens just are just like so freaking fast man like we have like literally nobody able to like go and block this guy at all and they got their point right away okay so here we go so let's move on into the second attempt and let's go and do this here so we are now finally in the finals uh after this so you guys did have to go and see me I have to go through the whole entire process here but yes uh we are gonna have to now go and uh battle out with the uh with the luka goers which that's gonna be really interesting because like even though that we just went and just fought these guys like in the main story we're gonna have to go and battle these guys again within here just in the tournament just to kind of have a uh, a little bit of a revenge or type of grunge match i guess you could say uh for what's gonna happen here now have you ever seen those blue type of uh type of highlight type of things that's there normally that means that that is what your tech copy is going to uh probably occur from there as well so it almost kind of works like in a way of like how a blue magic spell kind of works like in uh in, in final fantasy 9 a little bit so we're gonna go and pass it over to prox now, this is where I believe I got my skill a little bit better. So, you guys will actually see me uh, do uh, 10 times better than what I originally did before with the Elbed Sykes. So, we're going to go and shoot. We're going to go for the Jack Shot. And we should be able to punch these guys in the face and use them as, uh, as our little barriers here. And we can go and just uh, use it for the kick. There we go. Missed it. All right. There we go. And I think just like that, that's a goal. Look at that. That's our first point right in the money. See, at least I'm doing something right. All right, so let's do it again. It's blitz off time. So, yeah, so just make sure they always check the energy level on, on anybody here. Because if you don't have the best of energy level, then you won't probably be able to go and uh, do a lot of stuff with those guys there. Like, surprisingly, these uh, Luka goers here within this type of battle that I wanted did, they were really no pushover at all. But he's going to miss. And just like that, Jamal would have made sure to block it. Nice. Yeah, just make sure that you at least try to, like, stay out in a little bit more further out into the open so that these guys won't have to go and try to block you every time. But we're going to go and pass that over to Prox once again so that we can at least try to get ourselves another shot here. And just keep our head all the way down there to the to the goal line. But let's try another shot here. Now, nah, no jack shot, though, because unfortunately there's not two other uh, different members. But we're going to go for a normal shot. And it... 
Ah, oh, it did not really work. Okay. Well, that's all right. Not to worry, we do have one point. We do need to get a safety point, though. But at least we're on the board, so that's all that we only care about, right? As long as I get that first prize, we'll be all set for it. Okay, so here comes another one of these uh, type of parts there. We actually got the ball, so that's actually really nice. Ah, oh, and of course, somebody had to go like literally show up from, uh, from the side there. Can we dodge it? Yes, we can. All right, we dodged it. And let's go and uh, actually uh, throw the ball back over to Prox there. And now let's run right over down there to the uh, to that little part there. And I think this is where I was originally supposed to go for the jack shot, and I completely missed out on it. Eh. Yeah, unfortunately, that guy's going to grab the ball once again, which that's not all that too great. Now, there's a little, like, uh, segment that does happen, like, when you go and use the jack shot, and, uh, or any, well, any other type of shot, for that matter, uh, is, is that if it's, like, uh, somewhat of, like, a, like, a critical shot or something, like, sometimes they would kind of, like, pan right onto, like, the goalie's face, and that's when you kind of make sure that you actually do get, like, the actual goal, like, right away from there. Sometimes that does happen. And I think, and I think we'll, we'll probably be seeing that happening here in this, uh, particular episode as well. Yeah, but unfortunately we lost the ball, so it looks like uh, the, the goers will have another upper advantage up here once again. Nice, look at that. See, I'm starting to like this guy on my team, you know? This dude's been literally out here just like kicking and punching everybody and actually getting the ball. Uh, see, now this is a problem right here. This is where I would love to use the jack shot, but unfortunately we don't have anything for that for this guy, though. Maybe just kick the ball in. Maybe we can at least just hope and pray. Uh, nope, not even going to even work. Yeah, like, we're all out in the open right there with all three other different guys. There's, like, another part to happen. But come on, Wedge. Nice. That is how we do it, Wedge. And just make sure that you just kind of stay far out in the open. Another good thing that I have heard is, is that uh, it's always better to always kind of leave yourself more out, like, in the outer part of this, uh, of this arena. Because most of the times, like, uh, you actually do have a better advantage if you're, like, on the outer side instead of actually in the middle right there. And look at that. Another goal. There we go. Now, that was our safety goal right there. Our assurance goal. Just so that I can make sure that we don't actually uh, get ourselves completely destroyed out here. All right. Where are we at for time? I think we're almost getting close to our halfway margin here. Yeah, and I believe every single game that happens, even in a tournament or even in a league battle or anything of Blitzball related, uh, will always end around at the five minute mark. And look at that, we already made it to halftime with the ball in our hand, so that's actually pretty nice. I think we'll probably have the advantage, right, since we had the ball in our uh, grasp at this point. And look at that, we're already at like level eight right now. Okay, so just like how we have to do it from before, just make sure that you add all the guys to the exact spot that you do want, and uh, that's how we're going to normally go and do it from here. And Jamal is your best goalie, so always make sure to put him right into the goalie position. Because he's always better for, for that type of uh, type of position than the other different ones that are there. Because he'll make sure to block any type of crazy goals that even happen, even from the Albed Sykes for that matter. Well, except for that one particular segment that just happened within the episode, but yeah, we'll forget that even happened. Eh. Okay, so here we are in the next game. Now, this should be at least the final game that we do need because uh, there is no overtime for this one. Yeah, last time when I went and fought the uh, Luka Girls before, I think my very first time within the main story within those guys, I did have, I think, what was it, a 2-2 two two type of tiebreaker with each other and... Ugh. Completely did not even get that type of reward either because they got the extra point in the overtime. Okay, hopefully somebody can be able there to be able to go a block. All right, thank you. We at least got two people there. It takes so long so that they have to, like, try to swim over to that guy. I wonder how all these guys actually, like, breathe in the water here. They must have, like, some pretty good lung capacity, to, to be honest with you. 
Like, I have a pretty good lung capacity when I go, like, and, and like, uh, hold my breath underwater, but, like, these guys must probably be doing, like, a lot of training just to, like, just to hold their breath down for, like, so long, for, like, five minutes. All right, but here we go. Let's see. Can we go ahead and make sure that we block this? Come on. Somebody go and grab it. Jeez. Nice. Look at that. And the ball's now back in our hands now. They actually went and uh, completely flopped on the ball there. That sometimes can't happen with them blitz ball. Is that sometimes they will actually fumble that. Okay. Well, let's just see what we can do here. Wedge. You know what to do. You know how to go and uh, grab the ball. So good job, man. There you go. Wedge is working out as a team player. Now, hopefully, we can at least try to get a shot if we can, if we're lucky. Let's kick the ball in there. Can we at least do it? Oh, he missed. Ah, oh, but I grabbed it from that guy, though. All right. Well, you know what? We got what? Just about like almost close to three minutes. I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to go and get a shot here all that way. But let's go. Oh, come on. You, need, you guys need to jump a little bit more higher than that. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I got the ball that time. Normally, that dude always grabs the ball right away. Nice, look at that, and Jamal, uh, and Jumal just, like, completely dodged out one, and he dodged out another one, look at this man. Okay, ah, oh. oh, I was gonna be able to do a little bit of a free pass there, but, unfortunately, somebody got me. But, we're gonna go and throw that over, and that should at least work out very well there. Just head all the way straight down there. Okay. Uh, should we go for a jack shot? I guess so. Would this work? Hopefully so. Nice. And spin and kick it into there, please. There we go. And... Oh, I think we're going to get it. Nice. And look at that. Another goal. Now, that's the critical goal, because sometimes that always, like, shows up, like, right to the goalie's face. That's when you know that you're going to be able to get the shot right in there. All right, so now, basically, at this point in time, um, right now, they have, like, around, like, what, like, four, yeah, four minutes and 30 seconds here on the clock for them. If they can try to do it within, like, the 20 seconds left that they have, they could at least pull it off, but... Uh, well, at least try to get themselves like an extra point to be on the board, but they'll still lose either way. Oh, yeah. That man's got like the Michael Jordan reach out here. He's just like picking up all those ones. But there we go. I believe that is the finals. We are now set and finished with that. And I believe we will have some brand new, uh, brand new abilities and other movesets that are going to happen from here as our reward. Because we will have an overdrive for Waka, and I believe we will get something new for uh, Wedge as well, too, I think, right? And also get a little bit of a trophy in there to show off. Got the attack reels now. Nice. And we also learned a technique for regen for Jamal. Okay, so it's not for Wedge. It's for Jamal. But, yeah, so we'll go and uh, basically put a stop to his contract there. And, uh... I think originally I was supposed to take all these guys off of their contract, and I don't know why I actually left these guys on here. But now I'm just going to have to give them more free money, which I don't really want to go ahead and do that. But you know what? Maybe we could go and probably keep Jamal there. Eh. There he goes. Now he's still be on RT for a little bit. But anyways, we're going to end things off here for today, and I'm pretty sure that we are now all done. And I uh, guess we could go and probably show you guys where the overdrive move is going to be here for this. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, peace.